covered by citizens' property insurance are on edge after they received a letter telling them that the value of their home isn't what they believe. If they lose their home, the replacement value is not based on the appraiser's evaluation. News Channel 5's Jamel Lene spoke with several owners who are fearing the worst so close to the start of hurricane season. LC Jack alone has put thousands of dollars into renovating her mobile home that sits in Jamaica Bay. Built in the 80s, an appraiser told her her home is worth $100,000. They did not go by the appraiser's evaluation. Citizens Property Insurance didn't see it that way, insuring it for less than half of that. I don't know. They just took it by the year of the original home when it was built. A state law requires citizen property insurance to treat mobile homes as if they're automobiles. Like cars, the homes depreciate over time. That means owners are paid for actual cash value, not the replacement value. Many mobile homeowners in our area, like Elsie, are averaging about $40,000 of coverage on a $100,000 home. That would be like living in this $40,000 Audi SUV. Mobile homeowners in particular, uh, there are very few options for them. In a Skype interview, Citizens Property Insurance Representative Michael Peltier says mobile homes just don't appreciate in value. We are trying as, as much as, as hard as we can to um, make those rates as affordable as possible mm -hmm. while also uh, taking care of our responsibility to all of our policyholders. Jack alone wants citizens to take care of the 120,000 Floridians that could potentially be affected by these changes and hopefully one day see the value in her home. At least go on by the appraisers' figures and all the paperwork that he sent to them. Reporting in Boynton Beach, Jamel and A, WPTV News Channel 5. More than 19,000 mobile homeowners from Indian River County to Palm Beach County are covered by citizens' property insurance. Covering St. Lucie County tonight.